morning everybody it's another beautiful morning that ball of fire is ready for a good day and so am i today is a little bit of a different morning i gotta go in for a drug test this morning uh, these drug tests are random and they're also for pre-employment and the reason they do them is for the united states uh, in order to be hired in order to keep employment and be able to drive trucks in the United States you have to do these periodic drug tests they don't tell you when when they'll be for the most part until you have to go in I have to go in right now actually and uh, you also have to do them for pre-employment like I was saying before you get hired mostly what they'll be looking for obviously is any well, any drug abuse at all but I, I think what they look for the most is THC uh, because in Canada, cannabis is legal and it's sold in stores just like alcohol is. Uh, well, not in all stores, but in government regulated stores. You can't just go and buy alcohol in gas stations and grocery stores here in, in Manitoba anyways. I don't know about the rest of Canada. But uh, it, cannabis is pretty much on the same level as uh, alcohol here. So, legal. But... If you want to be a class one driver, a CDL driver in Canada, you have to be able to cross into the United States. That's what I've said a few times already, right? Now, what comes with that is if you want to drive in the United States, you have to follow their rules. The United States has a very different outlook federally on cannabis than Canada does federally. And it is absolutely forbidden. And it's, uh, it's actually quite a huge offense. If you have an accident in the United States, the first thing they're gonna do is drug test you and see if you have any THC or anything, if you've had cannabis in the past while. And if you do, well, the lawyers are gonna eat you alive. So the United States has a very different view on it than Canada does. But just to repeat myself one more time, if you wanna drive on their roads, you have to follow their rules so I got to run into Winnipeg right now and do a quick drug test it's a urine sample as far as I know and uh, that's to confirm that I can drive on United States roads I got nothing to worry about so I'll go in there give a quick sample get back to work and uh, I know that they're planning on sending me down into the US uh, not every day but probably down into Minnesota and North Dakota from time to time so I do have to make sure that I am Following the rules of the United States if I want to go and visit the great United States. Right, Chevy? So I gotta go take care of that right now. Gotta go in first thing this morning. Uh, it's, a, it's a lab or a clinic in Winnipeg that I gotta go to. So this is a heads up for my Canadian friends who want to become truck drivers. To become a truck driver in Canada at least with us anyways, you have to have the ability to legally enter the United States. And as a commercial driver entering the US, like we just talked about, you can't have any cannabis. So even though it's legal up here, you can't partake because you're gonna be traveling into the United States. So that's something that uh, you gotta keep in mind. And even if you're not a truck driver, I'll give you another heads up and another warning. Never, never bring any to the border. Okay, the Americans, like I said, have a very different view on it. You don't want that in your vehicle when you get to the border, even though we're not allowed to cross the border right now anyways, but I'm, I'm hoping maybe it'll open up soon. And uh, even in your personal vehicle, and even though it's legal here in Canada, it's not legal. To, just, just don't bring it to the border, okay? That's something you just, just leave it at your house, okay? There's a friendly heads up for you for someone from someone who crosses uh, the border quite often, or I did. Chevy, you ready to go inside, buddy? Ready to go inside? Yeah? yeah. Such a good boy. <laughs> it's just so happy. Did you step on something? What'd you step on? Oh. He stepped in poop. Chevy, come on, don't do it again. Come on, I'll go get the shovel. Don't eat it, no. That is not breakfast. Whoops. Gotta clean that up. I've been too busy talking to you guys. <laughs> 
So once you're hired and you have, uh, you go through your pre-employment drug test, uh, you can expect these at random intervals. You never know when they're gonna ask you to go for a drug test. You, you get a call first thing in the morning saying, hey, you gotta go right now, or you show up to pick up a load. Be like, wait, before you pick up this load, you gotta go do this test. Uh, th they don't warn you, obviously, in advance, because then it wouldn't be random, right? That's for the random tests after you're hired. So you get the pre-employment one, you should know about that one. So if you're going to apply for a job that's going to take you into the United States driving semi-trucks, class one, CDL, whatever you wanna call it, class A, I think they call it in Ontario, you're going to have to pass one of these. So that is something to have a heads up on. It doesn't matter that it's legal here. Uh, it's not legal in the US at all. They take it very seriously. So keep that in mind, and uh, if you want this as a career, that's just something that you've got to uh, either cut out of your life or, or just not even bring into your life in the first place. So the reason for this, as I mentioned before, is if you get into the, to an accident in the United States, the number one thing they're going to do is they're going to send you for a drug test right then and there. Right then and before you do anything else, they want you to go straight there and get uh, get tested to see if you have anything in your system. And if you do, if you do, they're not going to care when you tell them, but it's legal in Canada. I didn't break any laws. We were just at a smoke shop, or sort of like just at a bar, and that's totally legal. They're not going to care. The lawyers in the US are going to eat you alive and your life will be pretty much over. So I don't want to like talking about this too much because I, I sort of got to be careful with the words I use because YouTube doesn't like people talking about about cannabis and stuff. I'm just hoping that by using that word that that's not going to trigger some kind of uh, like YouTube algorithm on me already. But this is information that you need to know as a truck driver, especially in Canada, especially when everything surrounding that topic is legal up here, but not legal there. It, it's something you need to know and need to avoid at all, completely. So if you're gonna be a truck driver for the rest of your career, that can't be a part of your life. It doesn't matter that it's legal. We got that out of the way. Uh, they are required by law to send us in for those tests, so no one's got any choice. But like I said, I got nothing to worry about, so it doesn't really doesn't really affect me. So I got to jump in my truck now and uh, make my way on to Carmen. I'll have to figure out what trailer they want me to take there. Probably a step deck, I'm guessing. Maybe I'll just quickly swing into the office here and ask. Found one. I'm gonna drag it all the way to Carmen and pick up some, what would you call it? Some pipes, some hose? Hose, large hose, we'll call it that. Well, he got the identical load to me. That's my uncle over there, Uncle Rudy. He also works here. And there's mine. Gotta take this back. This is going to Hayfield, Minnesota. It's gotta be there tomorrow, so I'm sure there's a highway driver waiting for me. My uncle back there, he's going uh, straight there. 
don't know if he's going to the same place, but he's also got to deliver in, I believe, in Minnesota or somewhere tomorrow. There's a whole bunch of us working here. It's a big family run. Family, how can I say this? It's a place that values family, truly values family, and everyone's family. So there's a lot of like father sons, a few father sons that work here. Like my dad works here, I work here, Uncle Rudy works here. Uh, my mom's cousin works here. I haven't seen him in a while though. He must be busy on the road, but he works here as well. It's hot. Let's close the window, let's crank up the AC. Let's pull this load back to the yard. I was supposed to go to Fargo today, but uh, I guess that got delayed or someone else took it because I had to go in this morning for that for that drug test. But uh, maybe I'll be going to Fargo sometime soon. I haven't been into North Dakota or Minnesota in quite a while. I'd like to go visit my American friends again. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. There's my load. I don't know if I can get out this way, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I can't back up right now, so I'm assuming they just wanted me to go around here. The exit is over there, but uh, obviously there is stuff in the way here, so I've gotta go around. I'm guessing this road goes all the way around to the exit. Apparently we've been very busy out here recently. Lots of loads coming out of here. Probably going to a big job site or something down in Minnesota. There we go. Yeah, there's the exit. Okay. Just have to wait for these guys. Maybe I can sneak past them. I'll wait to see what they're gonna do. He's waving me through, okay. Get on out of here, try not to raise too much dust here for him. me and I'm leaving before him. <laughs> Speedy like the road runner. <laughs> but like I said, he's headed straight to the border, I'm sure. And I'm going back to our yard. Nobody coming? Nobody coming? Nobody coming? No cars, no trucks, no planes? All right. Off we go. So we're in Carmen, Manitoba right now. I know I've mentioned that already. I was supposed to go up to Arburg tomorrow, but the highway driver is gonna go and pick up his load there himself. Okay, that's all I was told. I mean, I'd gladly go there and pick it up for him, but Maybe he's just kind of getting antsy, wants to get on the road and wants to go pick it up himself. All right, man, you want to use your e-log hours for that? Man, I would have done it for you, but that's okay. Well, I guess I'll find something else to do tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe he thinks it'll be faster. I don't know. This guy was parked here on Tuesday already. So this truck has been here all week. It's a nice Kenworth, right? It's from Ontario. It's got Ontario plates anyway. I wonder what he's doing just sitting around out here. Man, I would love to drive that truck. One day, maybe. Maybe one day. I keep telling you. Oh, wait, he's got the same name on his trailer as this sign is right here. Oh. Okay, so it belongs here. Why does it have Ontario plates, though? Interesting, eh? I don't know what's going on. Like I was going to tell you, one day maybe, maybe we'll uh, be able to go and build a truck together with Andy, the Kenworth guy. He is the guy I'm going to go to. 
I just don't know if and when I'll be able to do that. But you know, that's why it's a dream. You gotta keep fighting for your dreams. You gotta keep pushing towards them. If they happen, great. If not, you have to be, you have to be okay with what you got. You know, happy with what you got. You know, I've got a lot. I've got a good home to go home to, a nice family, four fur children, a nice wife, nice little home. We got some land outside of town. Like we're doing good. We got more than we need. And I don't have to have a big shiny truck, I guess, but uh, it sure would be nice. It sure would be nice. Which way do we go? I'm gonna go this way. I don't know what's that way. That way leads us up to Trans Canada, I'm pretty sure, but I wanna go down here to the three, because that'll take me back to our yard. See if I can drag myself onto this busy highway here. Oh, that motorcycle, which way are you going, bud? You going that way? All right, I'm gonna follow you, how about that? Nice bike. Sure wish I had my motorcycle to ride around on. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow is Friday. And tomorrow is the day when the shop where the bike is being safetyed and worked on, they have assured us that the tire that they're waiting for, the front tire, is going to be there and installed tomorrow. So, all the stars have aligned. Now we just have to wait for the phone call and I might be able to take it home. I should be able to take it home tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I'm buying it off my coworker and it's not my coworker's fault at all. Their the hands are tied. It's the shop they brought it to. I'm not very impressed with the, uh, I guess they had to order the tires straight from Japan. I don't know. But it's taking, it took seven, 10 days. It took them 10 days to get that tire in. And apparently they ordered it from Ontario, which is right next door, that way. Because we're facing south now, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I guess something got hung up or I don't know. Didn't pay for the express delivery, I guess, I don't know. We're gonna go down this road here, and uh, this is Highway 3, Manitoba Provincial Highway 3, and it'll take us right back to southern Winnipeg. Ashu! Oh, excuse me. Woo! Lucky day. Hello. I bet you're wondering why there's a camera stuck on my head. I've told, I've been told by my coworker, another coworker of mine, Brendan, that this, uh, this diner here on the right is to die for. Uh, it's right across from the school. He said that he would drive all the way out from Winnipeg, which is like an hour out here just to get a burger here at this drive-in. I don't have the time to stop here today and it looks really busy. I have a driver waiting for this load, I'm sure. It's right in the school zone here. Called what is that? Sills Drive-In. I have heard very good first-hand reviews about this place. Do any of you know this place? Getting a little hungry now. Whew, that ball of fire is hot. Alright, so here it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, four of these straps back, because I only need four to hold the freight on here. Uh, I'd take them all back, but then this the wind might carry these and you know roll them off the back, and that'll be a big mess. I'm getting in trouble for that. So I'm going to leave these four straps on here, and whichever driver takes it, I'm just going to trust that they will leave four straps for me or get four straps back to me. Uh, my uncle was the one who picked up the last load like this that I did, and he actually returned these four straps to me today, which I really appreciate, because we're running low on straps here in the yard again, and uh, I know, every time I, I bring this up, my comment section lights up with, well, each trailer should have its own supply. I agree, we should have toolboxes down here that each trailer has its own supply, just like our roll tights do, right? But 
it's not the way things work yet, so maybe one day we'll get there. So all of these I'm going to quickly loosen on this side. I'll just take those four ones off so that all the straps that are left on there are sucking them forward against the step. You get it. Hello! Thanks for watching the vlog. That, that, that was nice. That was, that was very nice of you. Took your time and stuff. That was nice. Uh, so I don't know if that was yet. Yeah. That was good, Wiener. Good. They wanted to see your face. They've been missing. Who wouldn't miss you? Look at you. Okay, good. That's all. He's not a big fan of the camera. They have to coerce him to come on camera. <laughs> Chevy, how about you? So the day went well. Got the drug test done in the morning. Picked up that load in Carmen. It was a productive day. Tomorrow's Friday. And I'm excited. Hope you guys join us. It's already Friday for me. As you can tell, I just woke up. I'll see you right here tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll talk to you later.